That would not be fun for me. History of the Sentinels Part 10. Here it is. With the coming of the Slayer, the Night Sentinels took the campaign deeper into the heartland of the demons than ever before. Mighty Atlans were brought forth, tearing paths through the hordes of Hell alongside the Slayer and his army. The High Priests, under the guidance of the Mother God, had found means to gain entry to the innermost regions of the demon world, and with the Dayag's presence, new gates could be opened. Our war machines were unstoppable, wrought with Maker technology, enhanced by the very essence our enemies held against us as our armies drove deeper and deeper into the blood-drenched territory of the demons. Countless victories were assured with the power of the Slayer, for with the Alpha and Interfector at the fore of our pack, we brought certain doom to our foes. And though our hearts were pure and our purpose righteous, unbeknownst to the fighters of Argenta, in our wake and under the veil of secrecy, the Mother God had set her priests to, to build vast factories upon the heathen's land that she might gather the essence for further development. How this deception began we would not know, for our focus remained on the hordes of the underworld. Why then would we stoop so low as to consider our Mother God of betraying our covenant? The Khan Maker did not seem at ease with the unforeseen rise of our Slayer, and the Seraphim who had birthed the Destroyer in secret soon vanished from Erdak, perhaps exiled for his heresy. Our legions rose unfettered under the unquenchable rage of the Doom Slayer, and his design led the Khan Maker to find profit in his endorsement. It soon became known that the Slayer was the Maker go Maker's God Machine, a holy relic reborn, sent to bring the Maker's word to the wicked and to smite those who would seek to harm all who followed the path to Erdak. With the Slayer unwittingly cleaving a path for her, her, the Mother God siphoned the essence, processing it beyond our knowledge into a fuel that would come to be known as Argent Energy. The Slayer cared not for polity. I don't know what polity is. He took no interest in the workings of our people, but set his task only on his desire, the destruction of the demons and their world. He no longer spoke for reasons unknown, though it was understood that he still possessed the ability, offering only guttural hefts of anger as he inflicted pain upon his enemies. For years, he marched with the Night Sentinels through the fires of the Demon Lands, and every return to our homeworld found much changed in Argent Denur. Should any blame be apportioned to the Sentinels, it is this. In our fervour, we were negligent of our people, and did not see the rising tide of evil our crusade empowered. We knew only the enemy laid before us, and the wealth of Argenta at our backs, and did not pause to seek the cost and method of this progress. It feels bad. Okay, so we can't get into there. I don't know how we would go about getting into there. Is it something from... It's probably something you had to do underwater. Ah. Fine. Let's have another look then, shall we? Oh shit, but my rad suit's out. Oh god damn it. Okay, never mind then. Whatever. I do want to get all of these little question marks, but... I don't want to go swimming again. I don't even know if I'd survive it, because I don't have a rad suit. Can't see any other way of opening it though. Shame. Oh well. Oh, hang on, hang on. There's a green light behind you. Is there a way of me getting... Hmm. Oh, I can actually just do that. Please tell me. Oh, really? Wait, what's that? Okay, good. I didn't have to go swimming. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. I think that's it for this area. Looks about right.
take it. It will give you strength. Help you on your journey. I feel like I've heard that line before. So this is this is where I became the man I am today. Cool. Uh, there's a one up down there. I'm guessing is that death? Maybe not. Now it is a ruined place. Anything else does not appear so. The Divinity Machine. Within the infinite conscious, conscious matrix of the all-seeing maker god mind, there exists every potentiality, every predictive variable of possible future timeline, each one known to the maker collective with omniscient, inextricable clarity. The god mind surveys these timelines, watching them form and expand exponentially, like fractal patterns in the fabric of existence. Among these infinite possibilities, only one constant appears among them, unchanged by the flowing data of endless vari variability, that of the prophesied destroyer, the one who would bring about the destruction of the makers. Hmm. So I guess, yeah, that was, that did end up being me. Look at my dude back there. Is that, that's the titan that came to attack the city? Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. I just saw something spawn on the far right. Do I have a blood punch? I do. Okay. Oh, that got him like that, did it? I'll take it. Hi to this dude. Okay, I am taking some serious damage. Let's remedy that. God damn it. Holy shit, let me move. That was ridiculous. I was like stuck on an invisible hitbox that this guy has. That was cool. That was so strange. I was being knocked around by like nothing it seemed. Oh fuck me. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm stuck again. That's good. Okay, what is this? This seems nutty. Nope. Okay, okay. How to go about...
Okay. Man, those fucking slayers. Those doom slayers. They're not actually that bad, but it's very panicky. <laughs> I feel like I can handle things fairly well. Oh, I'm going to have a time limit to get to the other one that I saw earlier, which is just up here. Let's do this one first. And have a straight shot down there. Oh, shit. I didn't realize we were actually going down. Okay, I think I don't think I actually missed anything, but that was... I didn't realize that that was what we were doing there. I didn't realize it was a lift. Phew. <laughs> Very glad I didn't miss something. Oh, no. It's another challenge. Oh, no. It's the Slayer Gate. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, and I don't even have any super shotgun. There's the key. Well, it's not like we can get in there now anyway, because we need the key. So let's, let's get up to full ammo, because it seems like... Oh, no, another swimming section. It seems like... Yeah, when you when you fail a Slayer Gate, it kicks you out but gives you everything back that you went in with. So we want to be going in with max everything. Is what I can tell. <sighs> okay. Okay, can't go through there. What am I missing? Where is there to punch? Is it through here? Oh no, not through there. Gonna need another one. Why? Why are we swimming? <laughs> in, in a Doom game, why have we got a slow underwater swimming section? I don't understand. I can't shoot that. I need to somehow drain the water so I can shoot that, but I can't... Ah, there it is. This feels very strange, like... When you think Doom Eternal, this is, this is like the marauder of the platforming sections. Most of the platforming's fast. Like the, the monkey bars and the dashes and everything. And then you have the swimming sections, which just <laughs> slow it to a halt. Thankfully, this is only like the second one, but I'm already hating it. <laughs> I'm already looking at these swimming sections like, why? <laughs> why are they here? I don't understand. Okay, that's what we opened. Oh, now we can go up here and it'll be lower down. Where now? Uh, up there? Ah. Nailed it. Nailed that too. <laughs> okay, we're about to get the key without actually 
having the opportunity to chainsaw any enemies, it looks like. Maybe we should do the next room. And then come back. There is a BFG thing here. I think we have to, just so that we can go in with full ammo. Go, go, go. It's a big boy. It's a big and beefy boy. Actually, is it even going to work on him? I don't know that the BFG is even going to work on big and beefy boy. I'll just get stuck in the corner then, shall I? Where's he gone? Where's Big and Beefy Boy gone? Who I was aiming for there. Oh shit. Okay, no, 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 no. Well, we may as well try a BFG on him because there's another one to pick up in the middle of the room, right? Did you just fucking. God damn it. No. No, this is nutty. This is ridiculous. Where's he gone? don't like this enemy. This does not feel fair. Where did he go? Did he go? He's nowhere to be sitting. There he is. Okay, thank fuck that's over. Jesus Christ. This this room is crazy. Okay, can you just die, please? That'd be great. That'd be, you know, just utterly. Phenomenal if you were to just die. Hmm. 
Oh, you need three for them? God damn it. I feel like I'm going to be going in with even less ammo than I initially had. I can't break his armor because I don't have a blood punch and I also don't have anything with which to... Well, okay. A couple. I guess they have less health than I remember. I feel like I'm going to be going into the thing with even less ammo than when I came in this room. Man, that summoning thing, Archvile, that does not seem like a good time. Wait, what am I missing to the left here? There's a secret. How would I go about opening you? further up. Aha. Oh, this is weird looking cave. This doesn't look like anything else in the game. Overdrive. Hmm. Well, I guess we just have to go for it. I do have two BFGs, so that's something. But this is the final one, so this is going to throw everything at me. This is going to definitely have a summoner. It's definitely going to have Doomslayer. It's definitely going to have a Marauder. I feel like I'm going to have a really bad time. Oh, boy. Oh, good. Right off the bat, huh? Like you've just got to focus down the summoner, otherwise there is no point to anything else you do, you know? There we go. Well, that's a start. And that is nice. No, that's not what I wanted. Going <laughs> through the portal on purpose, of course. Nice, nice, he's down. Okay, okay. What fresh hell is next? Uh, 
Oh, there's another one. Okay, that's good. That's very good. That one's brutal. You very rarely see that one. That one is a brutality. Oh god, not you. Not the fucking snaky boys. We hate the snaky boys. No, it took me away. Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe I just got fucked in that horrible manner. That is just rude, Mr. Portal. We're just not going to... Oh, God. Hello again. A knock on that was. Okay, next. Oh, fuck me. I'm also very out of ammo. Okay, let's take stock. Do I need to use a BFG yet? I don't think so. BFG is my panic button. I want to save that for the last possible moment. Oh my god, he's down? That felt quicker than last time. That felt a lot quicker than last time. done oh my god okay there was no doomslayer there was no marauder oh thank you lord okay okay i can rest easy i can rest easy i was sure it was going to be harder than that i was certain they would put marauders in there oh man thank you kindly that you did not do that oh Six out of six.
Empyrean keys collected. Wow. Wow. We've done it. Okay. <laughs> okay. That sort of reinvigorated me. I was feeling a bit down before that Slayer Gate. I don't know. Something about, something about today's session. The first episode was almost entirely reading. Which, like, the law's cool, but at the same time, I want to be doing just fast, frantic fighting, you know? And almost entirely the first episode was just reading. So I was like, okay. And then the second episode... Uh, what was the second episode? Can't remember. Something something disheartened me in the second episode. I think it was the... Uh, I think it was the timed challenge thing or something. And I was like, eh. Don't want to go for these anymore, really. Like, it just felt kind of crazy. And then the swimming thing. Oh, no, the Marauder. Right, the Marauder. The Marauder came out, and I just don't enjoy fighting that enemy at all. Uh, and then the swimming thing, that kind of slowed things down to a crawl. And then I've sort of given up on doing the time challenges, because I just feel like they're a waste of time at this point. I don't know. So I was... That's a lot of negativity there. I don't mean to sound like I'm not liking the game, because it is still a great, great game. But there's been a few things in today's recording session that have made me go, eh. So... Yeah, up until that Slayer Gate. But that Slayer Gate has reinvigorated me because it's that was that's what I that's what I like. It's like it's all it's all fast paced. It's frantic, knife edge of death at times. Got all the tools in your arsenal available to you. I never even used the BFG. I was saving it for a special moment that never arrived because <laughs> I thought we were going to have like I don't know, I don't know what I thought. I just saved it. But yeah, um. Just the opposite of what Marauders and Swimming Sections are, is what that was. So, that was fantastic. And now we'll get to use the special weapon, or whatever, we've got tucked away back home. So, that's going to be very good next time we go back to the Doom Base. I think I'm going to end this session off here, though, on a high, because who knows what awaits us further in, and it seems like I'm not uh, I'm not feeling it as much today. So, we'll, we'll end this bit here. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time when we continue on with Doom Eternal. Thanks for watching. See you then.